Assalamu alaikum, I am Pavel and I welcome you all to the third lecture of the Calculus Free Tutorial Series. In the previous two lectures, I have discussed about the basic idea of limit and some techniques of calculating limits. So, before getting into this tutorial, I'd like to request all of you to watch those videos so that you can get a better idea and get a better understanding of this tutorial. So, I hope you have watched those two video tutorials and now you are watching this tutorial that is the third lecture. The main idea and topic of this tutorial will be conjugate expression. So what conjugate expression exactly is? If we have two terms, say a plus b, so this is an expression, then the conjugate expression of this particular expression will be a minus b and the vice versa. So if we have a minus b, then the conjugate expression for this expression will be a plus b and for this expression, a minus b will be its conjugate expression. So I hope this concept is clear. If you have a plus b, its conjugate will be a minus b and if you have a minus b, its conjugate will be a plus b. Okay. So when will we exactly apply this technique of conjugate expression? Let's uh, see some examples. For example, we have limit x tends to 0 root over 1 plus thrice x minus root over 1 minus 4x divided by x. Okay, so let's look into this particular example. The first technique we learned was putting the value of the variable directly. And one thing I mentioned there was that if you get 0 in the denominator particularly, then you cannot approach because you will either end up with indeterminate form or undefined form. So here, the value of the variable is 0, that is x tends to 0. So if you put the value of x here, so you already got 0 in the denominator. So whatever the value in the numerator is, you will either end up with indeterminate form or undefined form. Okay. So if you put the value of x in the numerator, you will get root over 1 minus root over 1, that is 0. So 0 divided by 0, which is indeterminate form. So the second technique we learned was resolve into factors. So at first we failed with the process that we learned at first which is putting the value directly and the second technique is resolve into factors. And we can see that we cannot apply the idea of resolve into factors here either. So what can we do now? When we will fail with first two techniques and we have square root in either denominator or the numerator or in both of them in those particular cases, this idea of conjugate expression will come handy. So how? Let's look. It will be equal to limit x tends to 0. What we will do here exactly is that we will apply the conjugate expression of the terms where there is square root. So in the numerator, you take consider this part as a and this part as b. So you have a minus b and we know that the conjugate expression for a minus b will be a plus b. So you need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the conjugate expression of the numerator here. So what we will do is that we will write 1 plus twice x minus 1 minus 4x times we will multiply this expression with its conjugate. So we will get 1 plus twice x plus root over 1 minus 4x. You see here is plus so we will multiply with the plus okay so here is minus so we will multiply with plus and the same thing will be applied in the denominator as well. So we need to write it here okay so at first let me write it here okay so what is the advantage we will get here is that here we have a minus b this is multiplied by a plus b and we know a very simple formula of algebra that a minus b times a plus b which will be equal to a square minus b square that is we will have these terms squared also we will have this term squared that will result in removing the square root sign so this is exactly what we will be doing here okay so a minus b times a plus b you will get a square minus b square as you can see here so what we'll get we'll get this this is a a square 
minus this is b this is square so we will get 1 plus trisex minus 1 minus 4x okay because uh, we squared both of them so the square root sign is gone okay and in the denominator we will keep things as it is so it will be 1 plus trisex my plus root over 1 minus 4x so limit x tends to 0 now what you can see that here one is of plus and this one it will be minus okay so 1 plus trisex minus 1 plus 4x so that uh, you will get um, let me write it down first so you will get 7x in the numerator so we can write limit x tends to 0 so in the numerator you will get 7x okay now we will get the interesting part that we had been waiting for so as you can see that you have x in the denominator and you get another x in the numerator so you can cancel these two x that is if you divide the numerator and the denominator with x this x will be gone now you can put the value of the variable so what you get if you put the value of the variable so you get 7 in the numerator and remember one thing as i mentioned in the previous two lectures that while uh, while you put the value of the variable you need not write limit and extends to zero or whatever it is here okay so you need not write this part again once you put the value okay so in the numerator you get seven and in the denominator you get root over one plus three times zero so this will be zero so this will be root over one that is one plus root over one minus four x so this will be also zero so you get root one which is equal to one so the final result will be seven divided by two I hope that you have understood and you can see that this technique of conjugate comes handy here and the process uh, is pretty much easy. I hope you understood all of it and please let me know in the comment section uh, that whether you understood, uh, understood it clearly or not and uh, you can also give me suggestions of improving anything. Uh, about the video or you can wish me good luck in the comment section as well and if you uh, said uh, if you see that this video is helpful for you or others then please suggest it to your friends uh, and near ones and anyone you think that they will be benefited from this videos okay and of course please subscribe to this channel and tell everyone to subscribe my channel okay so let's solve another problem now let's now solve another problem of this type say limit x tends to zero and this time let us write the terms with square root in the denominator so we can write something like this root over one plus four x minus root over one minus five x and we can write x in the numerator so as you can see here that the terms with square roots this can also be present in the denominator as well so what you need to do is you need to apply the same concept here you cannot put the value of the variables directly and you can also not apply the concept of resolving the factors and you have square root in the terms here so you obviously need to apply the concept of conjugate expression so what we will do here is that we will write x root over 1 plus 4x plus root over 1 minus 5x so you can see that i have multiplied with the conjugate expression of the denominator and i will also write it here in the denominator so it will be root over 1 plus 4x plus root over 1 minus 5x okay so limit x to 0 now what will happen is that this is a minus b times a plus b in the numerator so you will get a square minus b square so this will be squared so you will get 1 plus 4x minus this will be squared so you get 1 minus 5x and in the numerator we will get x 
times root over 1 plus 4x plus root over 1 minus 5x. So you will get limit x to 0 and in a denominator we will get uh, ultimately this will be minus 1 and it will be plus 5x. So 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled out and you will get 9x in the denominator. So you get x in the numerator. So it will be root over 1 plus 4x plus root over 1 minus 5x and you can cancel out x and the x in the denominator here. So finally you will get limit x tends to 0 and in the denominator you will get 9 and in the numerator we will get 1 plus 4x plus root over 1 minus 5x and if you put the value of the variable here you will get root over 1 plus 0 which is 1 plus root over 1 minus uh, this will also be 0 so we will get another one so 1 plus 1 will be 2 in the numerator and in the numerator we will get 9 so the answer will be 2 divided by 9 I hope this is clear okay so as I mentioned earlier if you find this video uh, not that much easy then I think this would be because of the fact that you have not watched the previous video. So I'd again request you to watch the earlier two lectures of this series and then come back to the third tutorial. And then I hope that you will find it much more easier for you. Okay. And if you find my tutorials helpful for you, please subscribe and tell all of your friends and near ones about my channel and these videos. Okay. So hopefully in the next tutorial I will discuss more techniques of solving limits and in the fourth tutorial I will hopefully discuss about infinite limit and techniques to solve problems related to infinite limits. Till then stay fine. Allah Hafiz.